Hello students, welcome. Previously, lesson 7, form 1, topic 2, we were dealing with solvent extraction. So today, lesson 8, we want to go to paper chromatography, that's the separation of colored substances. So we're saying chromatography is a method of separating components of a solution mixture by passing it through a medium where, the, where different where the different components move at different rates. So we're seeing the medium through which the solution mixture is based is called absorbent material. So next we're seeing paper chromatography is a method of separating colored dyes by using paper as absorbent materials. So we're saying next since dyes are insoluble, or do not mix in water or do not dissolve in water, borobanon and ethanol are used as suitable solvents for dissolving dye. So if you remember when we are dealing with solvent extraction, we said borobanon and ethanol are used as the suitable solvent because they can dissolve the oil. But remember we said again water, which was the universal solvent, cannot use to dissolve oil or cannot be used in solvent extraction as well as paper chromatography. Reason being, water does not dissolve in coloring substances or the coloring matter and also the oil. So I say next practically, a simple paper chromatography involves placing a dye on absorbent material, then adding slowly a suitable solvent such as borobanone or ethanol on the dye using a dropper. The next we are seeing the solvent spreads out on the absorbent material carrying the soluble dye away from the origin or the baseline. So I say next the spot on which the dye initially originally is placed is called the baseline. And the farthest point where the solvent spreads is called solvent front. Or the solvent front is the farthest point where the solvent spreads out. So we're saying the farthest dye can be spread by the solvent depends on two factors. The first factor is called the density of the dye. So we're saying in the density of the dye, we're saying the denser the dye, the less is spread from the baseline. So that means the ones that are denser, they will not move away from the baseline. And we're saying next, the lighter the dye. So this is the lighter the dye, the lighter, the dye, the high spread from the baseline. Number two, the second factor is the thickness of the dye. So we're saying some dyes stick on the absorbent material more than others. Therefore, we said do not spread far away from the baseline. So the ones that are more sticky, they will be moving a small distance from the baseline or from the origin. But if they are less sticky, they will be moving very far away from the, from the baseline. So that means they will be moving near to the solvent front. Next, we are going to go to application of paper chromatography. Number one, we are saying in spots, chromatography is used to identify burned substances. Number two, used in food industry to identify contaminants in food and drinks. The number three, we see it used in cosmetic industry to identify harmful substances. The number four, we see it used to test purity of drugs. So next, we are going to go to sample questions on paper chromatography. So we are going to have question number one. We are told the diagram below shows spots for a pure substance A, B, and C on a chromatography paper. Full stop. We are told spot D is that of a mixture. So we're having A, B, and C for a pure substance. Then we're having D, which is for a mixture. So next we are told after development, A, B, and C were found. They were found to have moved 8 cm, 3 cm, and also 6 cm respectively. D had separated into two spots, which had moved 6 and also 8 cm. So we are told part A of our question on the diagram below, label the baseline. The other name of the baseline was the origin. So if the cherotomogram paper that we are given is this, this is the baseline or the origin. 
So that P or Roman 2, we are told, show all position or show the position of all the spots after development. So that means we are supposed to have the paper. Then we are going to check the information given. We are told A or substance A had moved to 8 cm. So we can pick the 8, then the other one is 3 cm B. So we can put the 3 cm there. Then C is 6 cm. So we can put something somewhere there. The spot there. Then we go to D. We are told D has been separated into two spots, which had moved to 6. Remember 6 was for C, so that means they are supposed to travel on the same distance. So next we go to the second again for D, that's 8 cm. Remember, it was A which had moved for 8 cm. So that means they are supposed to be traveling on the same on the same distance, A and D. So that means we can put the spot there for D. So we go to the next part, that's but B, we are told identify the substance present in mixture d so it is a and c because if you check a it has moved eight centimeter and d was moving eight centimeter also and c was moving six centimeter and the other spot for d had moved six centimeter so we can have the answers here so this is these are the answers so we're having part a roman one and roman two remember roman one four was labeling the baseline or the origin and Roman 2 was uh, showing all the positions of or showing the position of all the spots after development. So we have shown here. So but B, we are told to identify the substance present in mixture D. This is D. So we check the ones that that have moved the same distance as D. One is A. So we're going to write A and the other one is C. That you can see. So we go to question two. We are told the core the chromatography below shows the constituents of uh, flower extract using an organic solvent so we are told that a on the diagram on the diagram indicate the solvent front so we say this is the solvent front the solvent front is the farthest point where the solvent uh, spread or spread out so but b we are told name a possible organic solvent that you can use for this experiment so we can talk about borobonon or ethanol so but see we are told to state one probability that makes the red pig pigment to move the farthest distance from m so if you check we are having red which has moved on the farthest point from m that means the two factors that we hit there was one density or the solubility that's what we can talk about so we can say red is the most soluble pigment that's why it has traveled to the uh, farthest distance from m and it is less sticky. That's why it has also uh, traveled on the, on the farthest distance from it. So, but D, we are to describe how one can get a sample of a yellow pigment. So when you check the answers here, we're having but A, we are having but A to show the, fault, uh, the solvent front or to label the sol solvent front. But B, we're told uh, name a possible organic solvent you can use for this experiment. You can talk about borobanol or ethanol. So, but see, we are told state one probability that makes the red pigment to have moved the farthest distance from M. So, this is the red pigment. So, we can see one, it is most soluble in the solvent and less sticky. So, that's the reason why red pigment to move the farthest distance from M. Then, but D, we are told to describe how one could get a sample of yellow pigment. So, first of all, we have to cut the yellow pigment. Then, next, we put it, we put in organic solvent such as borobanol or ethanol to dissolve the pigment. Then, we filter and evaporate the filter it to get the yellow pigment. That's the end of our class today, learners. Thanks for watching.